everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Now, I'm going to hit on a, a subject here where I kind of don't have any skin in the game. Now, I've been waiting for this game to come out, and, and one of the reasons I don't fund Kickstarters is, number one, the amount of time that it takes. Uh, a, a lot of developers or, or new people that are trying to fund the game, remember, you are backing a game. You are not buying a game. You are helping get this game made. That's the theory behind Kickstarter and Game Fun and all these other fun things. Um, but Darkest Dungeon has taken a lot, a lot of heat over the last uh, last couple of weeks, and I want to talk about this a little bit because it's kind of funny. The because um, it's kind of people pick and choose their battles. Some, some Kickstarter channels really pick and choose because they don't want to cut their nose to spite their face because they are usually funded by uh, a majority of these companies and I mean by getting games from Mythic or whoever some of these companies might be uh, but companies that they don't get games from they're not afraid to dump on when they do something wrong and it seems Mythic here has really not so much slipped up but have really really um, really really kind of impersonally done and and gone ahead and said hey listen you guys paid for shipping you've already prepaid for the game we can't get it to you unless you pay additional shipping well let's be fair the shipping crisis is a real thing and it is something that has really hit the industry pretty hard some people were able to take it okay a lot of people weren't able to now our, our good friends over at, at um, Shadowborn Games, you know, put a good portion of their own money in, into this because the shipping costs had gotten so ridiculous. But they also asked, hey, hey, if you could, could you please just, you know, send a couple of shekels and, and we'll make sure that we get it out to you. But shipping costs really hit us pretty hard and, you know, we're trying to do as best we can. They were very personal and they were very open and upfront about it where Mythic kind of took a turn and did the same thing, but it was very impersonal. And a lot of people took offense to this. Now, if you look at the rating of the game, okay, there are people that had played the game already and have rated the game very highly and said, hey, this is a really, really good game. I mean, you take a look at it, the miniatures. It was a great video game. It's done a lot of different things and it looks to be a, a very, very good game. But, you know, Mythic hasn't had a track record where they've put out great, great games. And I've got the list here, and, and we're going to go through that a little bit. And, and people are very, very upset over this. So much that on BGG, instead of rating the game fairly that they don't even have in their hands, they're just giving it ones, which just, I, I think, is preposterous and isn't fair to Mythic. Okay? Mythic act asking for additional funds because of the shipping crisis, I do not think is a bad thing but the way they could have gone about it i think is a little bit different and, and and just say hey listen we're having a tough time with this getting this to your in, into your hands is there any way that you can help us out by adding a little bit more and we'll make sure that we get it to you and that's where it was just where they were just like well we are from what people have said we are going to tack on an extra whatever they're going to tack on and uh, you know, until you do that, you cannot. You know, your game will sit in a warehouse. That's what I've read that that people have said. Now, is that true? I don't know. But Mythic has had um, you know a lot of people that have been big fans of them, and they've been uh, you know they have some channels that 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 are, are no matter what they come out with, they are going to stick to by their guns with them. But let's take a look at Solomon Kane. Was that a, a very good game? Uh, ask Dale. Dale didn't think too much of it, but he'll never say it was bad. Steam. Was that a great game? Uh, not really. Not really, and I'm seeing it being dis discounted. Super Fantasy Ball Brawl. My son and I had a great time with it. Matter of fact, he's to the right of me. Super Fantasy Brawl. We had a pretty good get time yeah, with that. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I thought that was a great game. The miniatures were beautiful on it. And this is the thing with Mythic. They are known for beautiful, beautiful miniatures. Okay? Let's 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 not let's not sell them down a river. Uh, but uh, you, you know, Super Fantasy Ball, okay, good game, solid, and, and we really enjoyed it. Reichbusters, 
a game I painted. I absolutely enjoy painting it. Uh, I have a lot of fun with it. It, it seems a uh, It seems that Wolfenstein took a lot from uh, Reich Busters. I think Reich Busters is a lot of fun. Some people didn't care for it though. Let's be honest. Rise of the Necromancer. I haven't heard too many great things about that. They have Enchanters coming up. Joan of Arc. Tons and tons of Kickstarter. And a lot of these games have are, 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 are some of the things that, that people have complained about Kickstarters is that if you do the all in, there are 75 boxes. Where are you going to put it? Okay? And Joan of Arc, that was a huge Kickstarter. How many of you guys are playing it now? I'd like to, I'd like to ask that question. Mythic Battles. It was okay. I, I, I actually painted some of the figures. I eventually got, got rid of the game. I got rid of the game. Was it okay? Yeah. But it seems that, 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 that it was a lot of these games, this is some of the problems with some of these Kickstarters. They're going to fun and they're going to do very well, but they're very miniature based. Okay, uh, People are buying it going, oh, these miniatures are fantastic. If I don't use it for this game, I'll use them for something else. Well, that's not the way you really want to do it. You want to have a game that you are going to have and replay uh, a la Stars of uh, Arc, Arc Rios and um, Oathsworn. You know, these are games that when you, you, you bring, bring those pieces out, they're very important to the game. Uh, and they are going to stand out in the game. And, you know, people are, are, are calling Mythic Thieves and this, that, and the other. And I don't necessarily agree with that. I think this could have been handled a lot better. Um, and, and, you know, from my side of it, again, I don't have any skin in the game, but I can sit here and start a conversation and get your opinions. A lot of people are upset. If you don't have your game, you're upset. But there were a lot of games that you are waiting for, okay, that, that are on Kickstarter that do go a year or two. And that's some of the risks that you take, okay? And then people defend Kickstarter by saying, well, when you give your money to something, you are not buying something, you are helping getting something produced. Okay, it's kind of semantics in a way, but, but um, you know, this is some of the reasons why I don't do Kickstarter. I will always help people do things in Kickstarter. I will always uh, uh, help people with projects because there are a lot of companies that try to raise money to get these things done. But let's face it, we have to give a lot of these Kickstarters a lot of leeway because the last three years have been absolutely berserk. Okay, these are not normal times. Look at Gen Con. Gen Con is coming up, uh, and, and let's be honest, what normally would have 1,400 games has about 560 games at Gen Con. Not a lot of people, people are still not, a, not too thrilled about going to a big convention. They can't afford it anymore. Okay, it, 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 times are getting tough. We have to give Mythic a, a, a little bit of leeway unless I'm missing something totally. And if I am, put it in the comments because that's what open discussion is, is there for. Constructive, smart, intelligent discussion. Okay, not being a little snot, snot rag and, and just saying whatever you feel and, and, and you know, just uh, poke a fight. You know, it, it's not hard to poke a fight on the other side of the keyboard. Okay, but if you have something intelligent to add and something to put to this, then then please, I'm 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 anxious to hear because I just can't believe that this game is getting the killed as much as it is. I know it's late; it was due at the end of last year, and uh, you know here we are halfway through uh, this year, and it uh, it's delayed again because of the shipping thing. Again, this game was brought to life during a very tough and bad time. I, th I think we got to give a little leeway and try to get the whole story. And I think Mythic has to do a better job of explaining itself and talking to people. We've talked about this recently about Kingdom Death Monster, which, you know, I have another video coming up where I finally gathered all the information and I'm going to come to my conclusion and tell you what I think. Uh, once we got everything together and you know where you need to go from there so uh, that's another video that we'll have coming out very soon so again you know here we are you know 
does Mythic deserve and, and Darkest Dungeon deserve the heat that it's getting? I don't know, folks. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what you say, but from what I'm seeing and what I'm getting, I almost think because of the science, because of the times and the things that have gone on, we have to give them a little leeway and give them a chance to do right by you. Of course, I don't have any money out there. I don't have $400, $500 out there. You guys do. So I look forward to hearing what you have to say. And, uh, you know, sometimes videos like this get back to people and, and, and we do have a chance to get people to respond. We've had people respond and, and, and to some of the things that we've talked about. But we do things in a right way. We don't try to clickbait you or anything like that. We try to have an open discussion and make it fair and smart. So I look forward to what you have to say in the comments. And until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.